I just purchased a classic teardrop trailer and plan to tow it with my long range Tesla Model 3. That is, of course, until I get my Cybertruck. I'm Frugal Tesla Guy, and I'm going to give you my first impressions on towing, along with a few preliminary efficiency numbers. My wife and I have been thinking about getting a teardrop trailer for years, but since we sold our truck, it wasn't a top priority. However, we came across this trailer that you see behind me, and we couldn't pass it up. Number one, it's a true classic, and was custom built in the 1940s. From the classic ice block refrigeration to the tow hitch itself, just a few of the telltale signs of its age. Number two, we were able to get this thing for a great price and just couldn't pass it up. Now, since I installed a tow hitch over a year ago, I figured, why not? Let's see what this thing can do. So we drove 145 miles to Grass Valley, California to check it out. And minus a little rust that can be sanded down and painted over, it's in great condition. So I hitched it up to my Tesla Model 3 and couldn't have been more pleased with how well it towed. So I'm towing for the first time. I just pulled out of where we purchased this trailer. And you know, I'm as I as I step on the accelerator and even take my foot off the accelerator for reaching into braking to kick in, it's like honestly, <laughs> if I didn't know it was there, I I don't think I would know it was even pulling a trailer. This is this is really unusual for me for the first time because I've towed 26 foot trailers behind you know a, a V8 you know Toyota Tundra and you feel it. Now, I'll probably start feeling it more as we start hitting bumps and start going up hills maybe, but boy, I tell you what, so far, so good. I feel really comfortable towing this thing behind me right now, and you can kind of see the trailer. It looks, we definitely need to do some work on it. It's got some rust we're gonna work on, but uh, got a great deal. I definitely was frugal when it came to purchasing one of these things, so um, thumbs up, I'm, I'm thrilled. Got a great deal on this thing. So, uh, more to come, I'm excited. But uh, this is my first initial reaction to towing a trailer behind me. This is awesome. So the first leg of the trip with the trailer was about 40 miles to the Yuba City Supercharger. But as you see in this next clip, it really wasn't going to give me a true sense of the overall efficiency of the car while towing the trailer. So after towing it for a little over 30 miles for the first time, uh, and you saw that in the first part of the video that you know it felt great. I mean, you couldn't even tell it was behind me. Now, the only time you could tell it was behind me is when I went over a bump, uh, and you could kind of feel the push and the pull of it a little bit, but not a big deal. Uh, the overall pushing down on the accelerator, I, I mean, I can go as fast as I need to when I need it. It is there, and it's not sluggish at all. It's fantastic. Uh, as far as the overall uh, battery consumption, it was a little bit more than I'm used to, but also keep in mind for this first part of the trip i went down from grass valley to yuba city and for anyone who's familiar with the area that's all downhill that's all going from the mountains down into the valley so a lot of regenerative braking i didn't use as much battery as i probably uh, would have otherwise so the true test is now from this point forward right i got to get back to redding california from yuba city uh, and there's a charging station in chico and another charging station in red bluff so i feel perfectly fine that i have enough chargers between here and there I'll be curious if I need to go to Chico or if I can make it all the way to Red Bluff. Uh, but again, I, I'm, I, it's nice to know that I have Chico as the, as the buffer. And when I get to Chico, I'll get a good sense of it. So I'm gonna get this thing charged at least to 90, if not maybe 95%. And we will see how it does on the way, way home. See if I can make it to at least Red Bluff, that'd be awesome. If not, we'll see. All right, so I've got it charged to 96% at this point. And according to the, the uh, computer, of course, navigation, it says I'll have 61% of the battery. Now, of course, that's not taking into account that I'm towing a trailer. So we will see if we have 30%, 20%, 10%, we'll see. Um, but I feel good because we're going up here to Red Bluff. You see, we're right down here in Yuba City. Between Red Bluff and Yuba City is Chico. So once I get to Chico, that'll be enough nice buffer for me to kind of feel out the situation as to whether or not we need to stop in Chico and charge or just take it all the way up to Red Bluff. Now, since I didn't know what to expect, it was nice knowing that I had more than enough supercharging options. 
But in the end, it turns out I only needed the big charge in Yuba City. All right, so I am super thrilled with so far how the efficiency is. Uh, so far, the average watt hours per mile since I started the trip is 369. Keep in mind, was it 266 uh, what it was without the trailer? And if you remember at the beginning of in Yuba City, I had 96% of my battery. I think it was saying I'd have about 65, 64, somewhere around there. So that's pretty good, 42% of the battery left. In fact, I've got a little over 30 miles from Red Bluff to Redding back home. I know I could make it. I, I honestly, I think I could make it without any issues. But we've got to get the dog out to, to go to the bathroom. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and charge, give it a quick charge. But honestly, I think I could have made it from Yuba City all the way home. So I am super thrilled at this point with the efficiency and how well this car is doing towing the trailer. Now obviously, you know, conditions are pretty prime. It's warm out, um, but I am using the AC. You can see I've got the uh, temperature down to about 68 degrees. So it's been uh, pumping at that the whole time. Um, but, uh, and I was going about 60 miles per hour. Just kind of give you an idea, but I, I'm so far, I'm, I am so happy with uh, with the overall efficiency. So as you can see right here, I'm blocking one space right here. I'm using this space right here, but I'm also blocking another space. So I'm blocking two spaces right now. I mean, I don't feel great about it, but that's the best I can do. I, I could pull in, pull like forward with this one, but you've got the fire trucks behind me and that makes things a little tricky backing out. I don't know. I, I suppose I could do it that way. But since there's nobody here, I'm not too concerned about it. And I'm only going to be charging for about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. And that's, that's it. Because I can get home, no problem. Now, I can't believe I did this, but I forgot to take an image of the battery percentage when I got home. But I did get the overall trip figures. So after driving a total of 159 miles, I used 60 kilowatt hours of battery and the average watt hours per mile was 374. Not bad considering the same trip going in the opposite direction with a few more miles on the odometer, I used 44 kilowatt hours of battery with an average of 266 watt hours per mile. Now, as mentioned earlier, the first 40 miles with the trailer was about 50 to 60% downhill. But that being said, based on my first impressions, I feel comfortable that at a 95 to 100% charge, I will be able to comfortably drive about 150 miles with about a 10% buffer, give or take, depending on the conditions, of course. Now, obviously, I am going to need to put more miles on the trailer under different conditions. Colder temperatures, more driving in the mountains, for example, and this will give me a true sense of how far I can tow on a full charge. But so far, I have high hopes for some great adventures with the Tesla and the new, to us, teardrop trailer. Now I will of course share with you most, if not all of those adventures and hopefully answer any questions you might have when it comes to towing with your Tesla. But until then, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.